Hey, hello. It's been like a really, really long time. It's been like, I think, five weeks or more since I've made a video. And, um, you know, there were times throughout the, those five weeks that I would, I could feel this, the first twinge to like beat myself up for, oh my God, I gotta be, I gotta should be doing this. And then I could breathe, relax, and realize that that wasn't the thing I needed to do at that moment. And it was away at a wedding, then I came back and I had COVID, and then I was away, and then I was home really, really busy, and then I was away again. Now I'm home, and I think I'm home for a while, or maybe I'll off for a week in September. But I just want to check in. I want to just say, I mean, I'm, I'm always thinking about different ways to connect the work to you, uh, different ideas. I had an email from someone um, with some suggestions for enhancing the four circles of friendship. Um, so we're going to revisit that coming up. Uh, but it's just been, it's been, it's been a good five weeks. There's been some struggle, or the potential, I want to say, a really important word, potential for struggle, because what happens when we start noticing, hopefully you're noticing, this, the uptick, what happens in body, what happens in nervous system, that then create struggle or identify something as struggle, right? And so when we know that, we can, when we can really heighten our awareness, when we can notice it here instead of up here, we can start doing things to, to you know, whether it's breathing, to reorganize the nervous system or reprioritize prioritize what we need to do, so on and so forth. Then a really kind of basic example, um, is I'm um, uh, doing, I just, as you guys, I, so some of you may know, I do Sundo, a Korean Taoist yoga practice, and I just moved up to a new level three weeks ago. And there's some tough postures. And I could feel myself, like in the, in the first couple weeks of doing the work, doing the new postures, I could feel myself going, let's go into struggle. Like, I don't wanna do that. Ugh. Hold that for how long? Because I hold each posture about Two twenty, two minutes twenty, two minutes twenty seconds, something like that. And then all of a sudden, I realized I can give myself permission to modify. I can give myself permission to breathe because breathing is the foundation of the practice. First of all, we don't ever sacrifice breath for posture. So how can I maintain breath and modify without telling myself I have to do the postures perfect on the beginning? That's not the practice. That's not the work. So it's been really, I'm really happy how I've settled into these, this new level of postures by modifying, by giving myself permission. And thus I'm doing the postures better than, I, than before. So that's always, right? Whether, whether it's you get new postures and now you have to do them and now that feels hard. Struggle is a perception of that. Whether it's, it's doing a sendo practice or whether it's family stuff, whether it's work stuff, whatever it is, you have that ability to to, to hold on, to, to, to pause, back up, breathe, check in, and make changes that then support healthy living. So that's something I wanted to share. Um, but lots of different things. I've had lots of ideas sitting on the beach, the watching the waves go in and out, which I can literally do for hours and hours and hours. I do read, I do eat, um, I do smoke a cigar on the beach. Um, I have fun. Um, but nothing is, nothing tops the ability to just sit on a beach and watch a wave come in and a wave go out and a wave go in and a wave go out. It's so incredibly calming for the nervous system, my nervous system, that um, I'm chill. And through being chill, I, I have lots of ideas that I'm going to keep bringing back to you guys. All right? So stay tuned. Be excited. Reach out. Give me feedback, questions, concerns, comments. Get your button here, whatever. All's welcome, okay? Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you're having a good summer. And I'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.